بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم وتحنن على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم اللهم وصل على علي أمير المؤمنين اللهم وصل على البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين اللهم وصل على سيدي شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين اللهم وصل على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي حججك على عبادك وومنائك في بلادك صلاة كثيرة دائمة عباد الله وإماء الله أوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل وإضاعة أمره Despite the fact that the Quran spoke of human rights a thousand and four hundred years ago we see that Muslim countries today are the most lacking in human rights are the most lacking in human rights the rights that we just talked about where do you find them in our part of the world in the Islamic part of the world number one حَقُّ hayat, the right to live do you find that everywhere? Especially countries that speak in the name of Islam. Countries where two or three million pilgrims go every year for Hajj and other millions go for Umrah. Bilad al Haramain, a country that is home to the two Haram. Do people have rights in that country? Are there human rights in that country? Is there a right to live in that country? Did we not read just a couple of months ago or a couple of weeks ago that a 16-year-old teenager is sentenced to death? Is sentenced to, ex- to, to being executed in that country? For what? For participating in a rally with his, with his bike, bicycle. With his bicycle. He was condemned to death. I don't know, did they execute him or not? Possibly, they're still waiting on killing him, cutting off his head. This is in one of the Islamic countries. Their freedom to practice your religion and school of thought, does that exist in our countries? In some countries, you can't build a Shi'i mosque. A mosque, you're not allowed to build a mosque, a masjid. As long as it's a Shi'i mosque. You cannot publish books that are Shi'i books in certain countries. Is this la ikraha fi din Is this the freedom of religion? The right to vote and to elect the majority rule. Which of our countries have elected, democratically elected governments? Maybe one or two. The rest are all dictatorships. The rest the majorities are crushed before the minorities. They're crushed. They don't have a say into politics. The right to seek knowledge and education, that it, does it exist in all of our countries? Like at our, our universities and our schools back home. We have the worst schools and the worst universities. We have the worst educational systems back home when our holy scriptures spoke of the right to seek knowledge 14 centuries ago. Do we have the right to travel and migrate in the Middle East? No. When the Syrian when the Syrian people were being crushed by both sides, by their government and by Jubhat al-Nasra and ISIS uh, ISIS and, and the likes of ISIS, Syrians fleed. They left. Where did they go? Which countries accepted Syrians? Saudi Arabia? or the Emirates, or Qatar. Which of these countries accepted Syria? They all came to Europe. Islam and the Quran that encourages migration and travel 
and does not put restrictions on travel. It was the, fir the, the first nations that stopped the Syrians from coming into their countries were, this, were these Islamic countries, were the Muslim countries. Do we practice human rights? Do we encourage human rights? حق التمليك وحق الملك Do we have ownership? It depends. In some countries, it depends. Are you a citizen of that country or not? If you're not a citizen, even if you live a hundred years and your children and your grandchildren live in that country, you can't own a home. You can't own an apartment. You have to live on rent your entire life. Is this human rights? حق العمل The right to work also it depends in certain countries back home, especially the Gulf countries. It depends on your citizenship and on your nationality. What passport do you carry? If you're a citizen, you get to work and you're spoiled. But if you come from different countries, it's very hard finding a job. As for the right of workers, minimum wage and the right of workers, do we have rights? Do workers have rights? Go and look in, in certain Gulf countries, the status of workers, especially workers from Pakistan and Bangladesh and, and these countries, do those people have rights? With my own eyes, once, in the holiest place on earth, in Mecca, in Mecca, I saw with my own eyes, I was sitting with a taxi driver, and the taxi was waiting for us to ride in in Masjid al-Haram, right next to Masjid al-Haram. He was a Pakistani driver. Because he was delayed for a couple of minutes, the Saudi police officer, he put his hand and he started to choke the driver. He started, he started to choke him. Because the driver did not drive. Because he, he delayed for two minutes. For two, three minutes. But if it was a Saudi, he would not be treated this way. But because this individual is from Pakistan, he was treated in this manner. And look at other countries, look at Qatar, look at the Emirates, look at Kuwait and, and these spoiled Gulf countries. Look at how they treat their workers. Do they believe in human rights? Do they believe in the rights of workers? Of course not. And so on and so forth. Unfortunately, our Quran spoke of values and we are the last people to implement these values. The Quran spoke of principles and our countries are the last countries to implement these principles. And the worst part is that the West remains silent. The West that speaks of human rights and democracy and freedom for people, they speak when it's in their interest. When it's not in their interest, they, they give a complete blind eye. They give a complete blind eye. As I mentioned in the first khutbah, Yemen. The people of Yemen do not deserve any rights. The people of, of Yemen are not humans. They're not people. They don't deserve rights. But who, who, who's calling for the rights of, of the people of Yemen? Did we ever see anyone in the West, any leaders, political leaders in the West, that called for the rights of the people of Yemen? Or in Bahrain? Or in other parts of the country? Unfortunately, here when they speak of human rights, it's a double standard. As long as it fits their narrative, if it's their interests abroad, they speak of human rights. Otherwise, they don't. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bring peace and stability to that part of the world, to our countries, our homes, to bring them peace and stability. Allahumma ansur al-Islam wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma shfi kulla marid. Allahumma dawi kulla jarih. Allahumma kisu kulla uriyan. Allahumma ashbi' kulla ja'a. اللهم اغني كل فقير اللهم اقضي دين كل مدين اللهم سد فقرنا بغناك وغير سوء حالنا بحسن حالك واقض عنا الدين واغننا من الفقر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد وأستغفر الله لي ولكم